Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So over the last few weeks we have worked with a client who had their 35 year old brother in ICU after cardiac arrest with liver failure and the client has had numerous setbacks. The ICU team from the start was adamant that the brain has been irreversibly damaged and that the client would never wake up and uh, that the client needs you know nursing care level uh, for the rest of his life and you know he has been discharged from ICU initially but then you know with the tracheostomy but then the ward couldn't look after a tracheostomy I had made another video about this about the safety aspect when someone with a tracheostomy is going to a hospital ward or a hospital floor that this is generally speaking very unsafe and this is exactly what's happened here because he said it set the client back by many weeks but nevertheless after many weeks of bleeding, multi-organ failure, sepsis, ventilation, transfer to the ward, which didn't even last 24 hours because the ward couldn't look after the tracheostomy, more bleeding, back to ICU, more uh, chest infection slash pneumonia, more bleeding. And now he's on the mend again. He is slowly taking steps to get off the vent ventilator. He's being mobilized slowly. He's waking up. He has purposeful movements and he's obeying command against everything that family was told that he would never wake up he is now waking up so the tip today here really is that you should never give up never give up because you know things happen and um, why does he wake up if the intensive care team says he will never wake up well because nobody has a crystal ball nobody has a crystal ball and no matter you know what CT scans or MRI scans show you know this patient seems to beat the odds for whatever reason so the quick tip for today is never give up and uh, hang in there you know because things do happen and hopefully this client will get out of ICU very soon and can hopefully uh, make his way to recovery and rehabilitation so that's my quick tip for today if you have a loved one in intensive care go to intensivecarehotline.com call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com also have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org if you need a medical record review for your loved one in intensive care or after intensive care, contact us as well. We can help you with that, especially if you're concerned about medical negligence in intensive care. We can help you with finding answers. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video with your friends and families, click the like button and click the notification bell and comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.